ready. Okay. Um, and what I need to do now is take these elements and I guess put them into the mixer first so I can show you some effects and stuff. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put the drums. Well, just a bit of the drums. Show you a little basicness. So I'm going to put the, the kick and the snare into the mixer. So what we're going to do, right click that. It's already on number one. So we're going to leave it there. Pop up this mixer. And if I hit my keyboard, there you go. Kick comes up. We can uh, name this. Let's just name it Kick. Or did I write it? Yes, I did. Okay, and we'll take the uh, snare. Oh, it's already number two. All right. It's there. Okay, so we're gonna. We don't have to name it. I just wanted to show you. You can rename the channels. It has to be insert one, two, three, and so on. Uh, and we are gonna go. Basically, these are your volume levels. Oh, let's just do the snare. Right. Uh, let's just compress these two, so I can show you that you can add effects right here on this side. Um, basically, uh, these are your insert effects right here. Uh, right here, this in, and it says none. Um, it's basically your audio input. So if you have a microphone, which I'm on, make mic line number two, um, appears there. All right. But we're going to use the insert effects and Fruity Loops FL Studio 9 comes with a whole bunch. Some good stuff. Uh, right now we're just going to add the Fruity Compressor. Fruity Compressor. Let's just compress it uh, 9 to 1. Make up 9 to 1. Uh, 9 decibels. And threshold set it to 20. Let's just crank it up there. Okay. And type. Make it vintage. Do that. See how the snare sounds now. Oh, actually, that's a kick drum. Select the kick drum. Nice hard kick. Like someone, someone just ran into that kick drum. Okay, we can go. To, let's do the same thing for the uh, snare compressor. The compressor. Do the exact same things. Do it really quickly. Doesn't have to be too exact. And bam. Alright, now it sounds like our snare is being. So that drummer is hitting that snare with a bat or a 2x4. Okay. And there's also other bunch of effects here, like reverb. Like reverb, right? Some great sounding reverb here. Not gonna go in depth with that. But it's there for your. Uh, for your discovering, I guess. So we have all this. I showed you the mixer right here. Okay, unlimited number of tracks. Okay, guys, 99. Like that's pretty unlimited. Um, and yeah, you can do so much. It's just there's no limitations with the software. This is why I love it so much, especially with the routing and the patch bay kind of hap thing happening in the bottom here. Um, so. We have that. Let's get on with the last mi main window slash editing thing. It's called a playlist. This first button right here. Okay, I'm just close everything so you guys can see uh, what I'm talking about. Oh, these are just channels. And uh, right here, which is this window, piano roll. And there I am again. So the last thing you want to do is this mode. Now, this is how the song is created. Um, there's two ways of doing this uh, with your own way, your own unique workflow. Uh, you, there's no limitations, like I said. You can work the old way, the new way, or a bit of both. I like working the new way now, and I'll show you why in a sec. But what we're going to do, because this is just our first pattern, our first song. Right? And it's not complete. It doesn't sound like it just sounds like the chorus or like something you know, something big in the song. So what we're going to do, we're going to separate everything. Well, at least the synthesizer and the drum kit. So let's take this first one out. Select it. Okay. Control X to cut it out. We're going to move on to the next uh, pattern. Copy it in there. The next one over here. Do that for the third pattern. So now we have drums. 
first pattern we got this chord progression here and the third pattern we got our lead all right so we have all that um uh, you know in different in different patterns so what we're gonna do here pattern one two three okay we're gonna switch our mode okay we're in pattern mode we're gonna go with song mode so now when I press play it plays whatever is in this in this mode okay so far there's nothing that's why you don't hear anything so first pattern second oops, and third Let's just rename them so I know quickly what they are F2 is a shortcut for that alright if you guys want to do stuff speedy Gonzalez style oh I press F3 okay there we go um, alright so the old way of working is just basically this so let's start off with our lead and then the second bar comes in let's start with our drums and so forth Um, that's the old way of working. Like it's still really good. I do it from time to time because uh, I've been working with FL Studio ever since about five, I believe, and that was the way. Five or four. The new way, which I just clicked by mistake, is this side, the upper uh, part of this window, particular window, and it shows you the different patterns. Okay. Uh, so if I select uh, with the crods, we're gonna call it the crods now. Slang. We're gonna mix up our letters. So the chords shows the chords. We highlight the drums shows the drum pattern. The lead shows you the lead pattern. So we're gonna use the lead first. Like uh, we do exact same pattern we did here up here, and I'll show you the good, the benefits of using the new style. Actually lead that we use a brush to just brush it all out our crods our chords we're gonna put them out like that and our drums kick it in right there and we have a little outro thing there intro little um i guess pre-chorus our chorus and our outro that's what we have here Okay, so that's what we have right there. Uh, some good things about it. Uh, you can cut out any part of your pattern and move it wherever you want. Whereas doing that over here is not so easy and it can get really messy. So I suggest you guys don't try that at home. <laughs> 